This is going to be on the final test. This is going to not go away. So alternate interior angles, all right? Remember, we have two lines here. They look like they're parallel, but we can't prove it, all right? So when you guys look at this, you could say, all right, interior angles. That means they have to be inside the parallel lines, but they have to alternate. Well, what do they alternate? They alternate what we call the transversal, the line that intersects your two lines, all right? So we have interior angles. That means the only interior angles we could do are C, E, D, and H. But what are the only two angles that alternate on either side? Well, you could say angle C and angle H. Or you could also say angle D and angle E. Now it's important, if we have alternate interior angles that are equal, that proves that we have parallel lines. And if we have parallel lines, then we know that alternate interior angles are equal in measure. So that's an important thing, but that only is true when we have either the alternate interior angles are equal, we know the lines are parallel. Or if the lines are parallel, we know the alternate interior angles are equal. If not, none of that is true. Yes? 